Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, Brittany. And me, Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain Family. And today we're at We're at Alum Cave Trail. We're gonna hike up to the bluffs. It's a brisk autumn autumn morning. We're hoping to be able to see some leaves up here and show you guys the sights. Let's get it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Jay on Andrew's bald in the very beginning, it starts like this, and she like rolled her little ankle. Because if you have kids, especially if they're clumsy like mine, they keep them running. I think it's the third bridge. And it's really cute. Jay, see what it's true about it, because it looks like natural like she does. Arch Rock. When you get here, you're 1.1 miles. And here's another thing as far as like with your children, you definitely want to keep them close. There's a cable here, but it's a huge drop off to the left and a cliff to the right, so. Yeah, I mean, now if you have an ex if your kid's experienced and they know the rules of the trail and things like that, like, you're perfectly okay. But if, you, if not, and y'all are just like casual hikers, it's probably not. Especially if it's wet. And being that this mountain gets between 80 to 100 inches of rain annually, there's a good chance of it being wet. But right now, it's pretty dry. Also, the slopes that we're going to be going up get a lot of sun, so therefore they stay dry. I do know who that is. Braves and I didn't come off very good at all. <laughs> Where are you all from? Indiana. Your little girls are so Oh, they're bad. This is my little boy. Hey, Aww. nice to meet you. He's like really long. <laughs> You're gonna be on YouTube. He's like great. <laughs> you see here we're facing like the I think maybe the south faces. We're getting a lot more sun.
best and you've left me. No, I was just trying to get so far ahead of you, it felt like I took a break. <laughs> <laughs> So at the Cave Bluffs here, um, it's kind of crazy because you have close to 100% humidity in the in the forest practically all the time, uh, 80 to 100 inches of rain, and the atmosphere and the climate up there is just bone dry. And uh, they used to, during the Civil War, they mined a lot of stuff here. One of the things that we found interesting was that some minerals that exist in the cave bluff are the only place on the planet that they exist uh so when you sit down you're sitting down in some pretty rare dirt up there but it's really really good views excellent views from uh, i got that pretty rare dirt all over my legs coming down with i got my i got my that pretty rare dirt on my butt yeah it's coming up all right baby hmm? we did it yeah hey, i did it yeah i did what it that tiktok guy that was my favorite i don't know what did he say oh so you want to kill the dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it. All right, so that was Allen Cape Bluff Trail. I'm going to jump with the rating. I'm ready to 10. This is my favorite trail. It's in the top three, I know. Um, let me tell you why it's my favorite. On the way up to Arch Rock, there's this stream that follows you the entire time. There's a lot of spots where you could just sit and chill and just enjoy where you're at. And then Arch Rock itself is really, really impressive. And I just like the hike and like the all the little bridges and all of that. And then once you get past Arch Rock, it does start to get a little bit difficult. I would say Arch Rock is easy in my book. And then to Alum Cave, it's probably moderate. Um, so it gets kind of real a little bit from going from easy. You, you go up quick, but because of that, to your left, when you're hiking up, it's nothing but views the whole way. Like literally, there's something cute your whole way up there. And then the destination is that cave. I don't know where you could get all that. Um, just for reference, maybe to see if you like my type of hikes, my top three favorite is this. Andrews Bald and the Sugarland Mountain. And Sugarland Mountain Trail. None yeah. of those are like waterfall, like destination. I like when the whole thing is like a destination, like the whole time there's something going on. I like that instead of just like one big thing at the end. I like the entirety to be one big thing. I like a cute hike. Um, yeah, 10 for me. And we started this, like we're not in shape at all and we just got over being very, very sick. We started this at 8.30, we are filming so we do get extra shots and it takes we, extra time yeah it takes extra time and we stopped and talked and all that got to meet some really cool people mm -hmm. um and we started at 8 30 ended at 12. 
All right, I'm gonna give it a 10 as well. This is one of the most popular trails in the park. It's one of my favorite trails. The first time I did it, I was a kid. Like, um, uh, you know, if you take it all the way up to Lacant Lodge, there's a Myrtle Point and a lot of places to get some really good overlooks. But this trail from, from, from Jump is beautiful. I mean, you follow the creek, as you said. I mean, it has a lot of geological formations, which is something that you don't see here in these ancient mountains that, uh, you know, so there's a lot of Anakista formations and Inspiration Point. You, so you see a lot of rock outcroppings and things of that nature. So it's really cool and it's different for the, uh, for the park. So there's, I don't think there's too many places where they have like constant views that are available to day hikers. So yeah, this is a 10. Um, it's one of the most popular best trails in the park. So yeah, I've only hiked it once, and that was to Mount Lacan, and it was so much easier this time yeah, to yeah. not go there. Mount Lacan, we're gonna go do that. All the way to the top the is yeah, ten yeah. miles round trip. So we just did about four point six. So all right, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.